So I used to play for England handball. Following on from that, I successfully completed my studies. And just as I was about to go to university, I took a chance and, and said in my gap year, I'm going to try and get into TV. Nine times out of 10, we stick within our comfort zone, we stick within the safety premises, but the only real time that you actually grow is when you step outside of the norm, when you do something that's completely outside of your comfort zone, that, that is a risk and you don't know if it's gonna go well and, and, and things like that. And it's just that, um, I guess that excitement kind of came over me. There were some really dark times that I went through, some real bad battles with mental health at a young age. I became a recluse, like I wouldn't come out of my bedroom, I'd just sit there, I'd, I'd, I'd play PlayStation at the, at the most, um, wouldn't go to school, I, I wouldn't, yeah, literally I just wouldn't move in anywhere, I wouldn't open my blinds, I wouldn't do anything. Um, and then it became a situation where I thought, okay, cool, I need, I need to fix up, I need to, I can either like let this like, break me or it can make me. Um, and I just kind of turned that into a, a, a sort of tackling fuel where I could just move forward and sort of use it as my motivation. My inspiration on a week to week basis comes down to my mum. My mum is my biggest, I'm a big mummy's boy, man. <laughs> I'm a big mummy's boy. But it's only because she, um, as a single mum, she did such a good job bringing me and my brother up. Um, and we went through tough, tough times. Like, don't get me wrong, there was times there that, you know, we would have to go to the supermarket with, with bare minimal money and try and put together a dinner for us for the evening. And she'd try and make it into like a sort of game, like, oh, who can, you know, get the cheapest meal for like two pounds and things like that. So she is my motivation week in, week out. Mainly also because any time I have something that goes out on like a screen, she's like the most excited person. Like she is like the biggest fan. I think that I'm still very much at the start of my journey. If you aim up here and get here, then it's better than aiming there and, and getting it even lower, right? I just keep striving, keep going, whether it's documentaries, uh, setting up a production company. I mean, keeping an open mind is the, the biggest bit of advice or, or tip that I can tell myself. With mental health. That's a big obstacle in itself, being able to pick yourself back up and, and keep going in the same direction without giving up. Like the work rate that I have now is up here only because of the things that I've been through and only because of the obstacles that I've overcome. It's almost like another reason to get up. It's another reason uh, to, to go out there and, and seek the next bit of work or, or come up with a creative idea um, and change the world bit by bit. That's exactly what I want to do in my work. Click the videos to watch more Londoners and don't forget to subscribe.